All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. I'm fresh out the gym, man. I just got out of there, man. I got the better sword and sorry shirt on, and you should too, because each and every one of y'all are all of my gym star. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Town, coming to you live with another video. Shameless plug, man. We got this site. Look, man, we done updated the site. Check this out, man. This is what, it's out. This is what I wanted y'all to see. In the beginning, we used to have to make a hoodie, a long sleeve shirt, a short sleeve shirt, all the hoodies and all that. That's why it used to take me a long time to get stuff into the store. That's why the store is not as packed as it should be. So look, this is how it used to be. I used to have to go make each one of these, make a mock-up for each one of these, and then you could choose the shirt, boom, boom, boom. And then I got to the point where I could do it like this, where you could choose the shirt and you could choose, you know, what color, boom. So now you can do that now with this, but, where I am now, you can not only choose your shirt, but it also lets you choose long sleeve shirts, short sleeve shirts, lets you choose a hoodie, all that stuff, man. You can choose a dry fit. We're gonna put the slim fit hoodies in here. We're gonna put the, uh, I can put the whole catalog down here and it'll just put the image over there just like that, man. Boom, better sword than sorry. You want this shirt? It's in the store. Uh, we're gonna put the tanks up there uh, later today, man. Uh, you know, in a little bit. Same thing with Beast Mode Activated, man. Look, and as I update one, it updates all of them. So if y'all say, hey, we want tanks, we want racer back tanks, I can put them in there and then it will update the entire store, man. But the coop to grass is this, man. The coop to the grass is junior high is this, man. I have the, your image here. You can do your own custom shirts, man. So let's say if I wanted a black shirt, right? I want a black dry fit shirt. It already got the uh, got the stuff on there. I want it with, with my little, uh, you know, I went and found the image on the internet. I, I searched up this image. I downloaded the image. And now you've downloaded it. You've cleared the background. I'll clear the background on some of them if, if it's like that. I, I'll probably email you and ask you that. Boom. Now I'm gonna upload the image. Bam. It's on the shirt. All you got to do now, you go size it. Boom. Now, and then once you size it, obviously you can, you can, uh, you can't move it around on the shirt. It's going to try to be in the middle. All right. It's going to try to be in the middle. I'm going to put it in the middle. So don't worry about that. Bam. Now look, I got myself a Deadpool shirt, a Deadpool hoodie. I can choose what I want to put it on. Or should I say you can choose what you want to put it on and bam. We gonna have it to you. Like I said, we had some people that ordered some stuff, man. Everything is going out today. We, we just finishing up those orders. So hopefully you'll be getting those soon. We gonna put some extra goodies in there too for y'all, man. Might have to get y'all a free code, man. Uh, so you know, that's how that goes. So those things going out today, but check it out, man. That's just what I wanted to tell y'all about. Some new innovative stuff going on the site. Breeze Tees, link is down in the description. Please, please go check it out. Anyway, man, hey, look, man. 2K got to get their act together, man, because my boy, Ticino, was trying to do a tribute. He was trying to go on an 81-game winning streak. And as you can see, he got the 52 games, and he says, Zeran it disconnected on the 52 game, on the uh, on the 52nd win in, in the streak. Unfortunately, we cannot continue again tonight because the update required will be in seven hours. Back again tomorrow, starting from zero to get the 81, I believe. And that's what he's trying to do, man. He's trying to do his own tribute to Kobe and do his thing like that. Don't matter, don't matter if you think it's genuine or not. Tarsino is an awesome guy, awesome guy in the community. I believe it's completely genuine. He just wanted to, hey, look, man, we all we was all influenced by Kobe. So, you know, it is what it is, man. Hopefully they get the 81. Hopefully they get the tribute. Hopefully they do that. And like my homeboy said, we are approaching everything from this point on in life with mama mentality, man. So, hey, God speed to them. Hopefully they get their thing going and hope they get their thing uh, straightened out. Up next, Bass Plug quitting YouTube? Bro, I watched the video yesterday and I'm not gonna lie. I've been watching Bass Plug all year because I feel like he has really evolved his content and he's become one of those people where he's, he's got reliable news, he's got good um good bills, he's got all types of stuff. He got entertaining legend uh, videos and stuff like that. He pretty much shooting you straight right now. He's not telling you anything that, you know, that ain't more or less true. And I and I can I can rock with that. So I've been watching Bad Plug videos here and there. Um, you know, like I said, the news is awesome, uh, all that stuff. But he said he was quitting YouTube. But he actually, he's, he really wants to know, will people watch him in another community or should he just get another account and keep on doing it and see if they you know they're going to ban him here or there? 
the reason that they said that they banned him, um, all of those things were approved, came to not be legitimate, I guess. If he, I mean, I believe he's telling the whole truth. So if he's telling the whole truth, none of the things that they said were, were legit, you know, unnatural badge progress. Um, they said he, he bought another Xbox to circumvent the ban, when that's not the case. He They banned an account. They didn't ban his console. They banned an account. And so he went and he made another account. And, uh, you know, he got into the legend and all that good stuff. So they say he violated the TOS somewhere along the lines. I'm pretty sure they have their reasons and they have their, their whole thing where, where they know exactly what's going on. And they feel like they were just in doing what they were doing. He feels like they were unjust. We know that 2K will ban you for no reason at all or any reason or no reason at all because a lot of people that participated in the $250,000 tournament this weekend, they got banned for no reason. As soon as the game was over, they got banned. And I don't know if it was just so they couldn't get back in or something like that, but we know that 2K will ban you for no reason at all or the slightest inkling of anything. I mean, like, people were getting banned for going into these tournaments. Like, uh, let's say, like, when, when, um, when Rat got banned. He got banned for... Going in to, uh, well, did he get banned for that? I don't even know if he did it, but I know some people got banned for the boot camp thing, and it was perfectly okay the week before, but this week, with no warning, they didn't say, hey, do this at your own risk, or don't do it. They just like, hey, you just getting banned. They just banned people, and it sucks. But, uh, you know, dang, I just went away. Uh, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. So, so like he said, he said he's probably going to continue to do 2K content. And uh, he's just going to get him another account or whatever like that. I'm pretty sure he can get himself another account, grind that thing up, and uh, get it right. But, uh, you know, Godspeed to that young man. I never want to see anybody lose their income. I think that's one of the most unfair things in the world, especially when you got people doing out there doing a lot worse than, um, you know, showing someone where to locate a badge glitch. Like, he's not even posting the badge glitch. He's just saying, hey, look that way. And, you know, if you want to find it. But I don't recommend that you do it. It is what it is, man. Um... We'll see, though. Like I said, I feel like he changed his content up a lot, but it could be something behind the scenes that we're not aware of. I just feel like, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. Hopefully, everything gets straightened out, and uh, we'll do that. Godspeed to him, man. Up next, man, NBA 2K Intel. They just wanted to go with the, with the remembrance moment. Y'all remember when parks on 2K 16 and 17 were lit at any time of the year until August? We on January and everybody join everybody park you join is people running off the spot. This is one of those things where I feel like boy well, YouTubers have pretty much ruined the game. YouTubers and streamers, because YouTubers and streamers get out there and they talk about your win percentage, win percentage, win percentage, win percentage. That's all they talk about. So as a result, nobody wants to have a bad win percentage because they know that this is going to be the measuring stick by which they will be judged. It's our fault. I'm not going to lie to you. Because if I look at you, a lot of people, I don't care if you got a good win percentage. I just play with people, like I play with a lot of people my age. They don't have a good win percentage because they play only with randoms. We don't got time to be squadding up and stuff. Most of us got jobs. Most of us are working so many hours that we just get on any time of day and we play whenever we play. So my win percentage ain't the best. My shooting percentage ain't the best because I play with randoms. If I play with other people, I'll be shooting over 70%, and I would probably have a win percentage in the 85, 90s. If only thing I played with was dogs. But y'all see, I only play with randoms, and I still find some way to win eight out of 10 games with just randoms. You know, it is what it is. So with that being the case, I think this is a lot of YouTubers' fault to how we just sit there and just bang it, or bang it up against people's head. Hey, look. If your win percentage ain't this and ain't that, then you know we're not gonna um we're not gonna play with you. And some people want to play with their favorite YouTuber, they want to stand a chance of playing with them. And so you know I, I think it don't mean nothing. Like I said, like me and T always say, your shooting percentage means more to me than your win percentage. Because if you got an 80 win percentage, but you got a 25 percent shooting percentage, that means that you're not winning because of you, or you're not even really contributing nothing. It means that you are in there, and you pretty much just getting free wins. So, you know, it is what it is. Also, man, we got our comparison for the day. Man, I completely forgot about this. I wanted to, I, I should have said this in the beginning. But y'all let me know who y'all going with, man. We're going to start dropping this segment in the middle, man. Even Naughty. Or Carmella Bean. Damn what I said, Even Naughty. Or Carmella Bean. Choose your, choose wildly. Let me know down in the comments, man. We got to put this halfway through there, man. I, we, we, it's called a teaser. You got to tease stuff and continue to push the show along and all of that, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Why were the parks lit in 16 and 17? I understand 16 was one of the first games 
where everything like it was the, it was a perfect storm it was the most it was, i think 2k was at its height it was like the modern warfare 2 of of um of 2k it was at its height uh 17 all the anticipation it was like blackouts where it was all the anticipation and then boom it was it was not what people thought it was gonna be but it was cool 18 complete let down to most people i liked 18 I, i'm not gonna lie 19 I, I really wasn't a fan of it because locks ran everything and people talk about all you're gonna see now is locks. no you're not gonna see just locks now because locks can't score they can't score last year they could do everything they could dribble they could shoot they could dunk on you and if and if you was a lock point guard all they would do is just back you down and then you're going to miss when they get on defense you're gonna miss just because they were on the court so when you missed they would just run out you had no way to win the game you had no recourse but now all of a sudden now that locks it now we got all the half locks just like I was last year. I mean, it never should have been like that in the first place. But hey, like I said, y'all let me know what y'all think about the parks and being lit and our YouTubers to blame. I think that I think that we YouTubers are largely to blame because people don't want to be, nobody wants to feel like they trash at the game. And we do a very good job of making people feel like they trash at the game unless you play with me because I'll play with anybody. But as long as you got common sense and don't keep making the same mistakes over and over. She just burning me with the eyes, but you know, it don't matter, Superwoman, I don't care. But anyway, like I said, uh, up next, hey, my boy the shark put this out, man. This video out, man. Look, you shouldn't even be surprised because this is how 2K is. Can I make a big screen? We're gonna make a big screen. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. We got the ball. We got it. I'm not gonna pick it up. Look at look at that speed boost that he got to just push him out of the way to get the ball. This is insane. He probably gonna instant replay it. It don't matter. This is something that we've been telling y'all about in 2K for years. No matter what the situation. The offensive team, whether it be bot or human, will get the ball back. They will recover the ball 99% of the time and 85% of the time when they recover the basketball. They are in better offensive position to score and you're completely out of defensive position. That's why we don't even really go for loose balls. I know 17, we didn't even go for loose balls because we knew what time it was. You're not going to get it. They're going to get it. And then they're going to go to the rim and then you're dead, man. So, you know, this don't even surprise me at all, man. You got two people standing there trying to get the ball. And, and like, like they, they, they run the perfect thing. He runs straight into there, loses the ball. He don't get it there. And then when they die for it, you know, they still don't get it. It is what it is, man. But that's just how this game go, man. We got to do something about that, man. It's the logic in the game. I don't understand why they got it like that, but they do. Uh, up next, man, BP the God was talking about something on the PlayStation, man. He was just saying, look, if they would just give us the behind the back, they would, uh, I think just giving us the behind the back that we had in patch one will be fine. Now, I'm going to tell you something. This behind the back right here, that right there, the slow lazy behind the back, that the, the uh, big, that the uh, people with less dribbling got, but that thing you should stun the hell out of you in 2K19. Uh, and people thought they were good. They'll get that ISO, ISO, ISO. They couldn't get by you. They would just get as close as they could, and they would do the escape behind the back, and it would just stun you, and, and they would go by you. It was nothing you could do to the point where it was just it was it was complete and utter cheese. And a lot of people didn't know about it. A lot of because a lot of people didn't use it because there were there were, you know there were a lot more dribble moves in that game. I mean, there's this dribble moves in this game too. Like I was watching, I was playing a guy. He had a um, what did he have? He had a, 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 a two-way sharp facilitator or something like that, or a two-way, a three and D point or something. I don't know. I think it was two-way, a two-way. No, no, no. It was a perimeter lock. But he had high dribbling. His dribbling like 78. And he was out there dribbling and finding ways to ISO people and get by. So I can't be listening to no excuses about, like, you're supposed to be a premier dribbler and it ain't no moves. Because that guy was getting busy. He was getting to the rack. He was pulling up. He was doing, hey, man, I don't know, man. Like I said, do we need the behind the back? Are y'all happy that it's gone? Should they bring it back? I, I, I don't know, man. Like, right now, I got mixed feelings about the whole thing. It could be one of those things where they do need to bring it back if enough people think that it do. But I got news for you. It ain't coming back. They ain't, they not listening to nobody. You, we know how 2K does stuff. It's ruthless. When they kill the centers, and they should have had respect and should have made these joints for centers so centers could get their uh, they stuff back, man. Like, bro, they killed centers. They killed speed. They made uh, bigs. Bigs been, like, people be talking about what well, guards always said, but bigs been suffering for years. Do y'all know how much bullshit that we've had to deal with as bigs? 
Like y'all think that we just stand in the paint and sit sit paint and play defense stuff. We gotta deal with people finishing over us. A 5'4 guard comes to the paint and you seven foot tall, they finishing over you, and then people yelling at you because of that. Then you got somebody down that is seven feet tall, seven three, that you know if he jumps before you and you don't jump, he gonna score the bucket. And then, then you got people yelling with you, man, don't jump. What the hell you mean don't jump? But meanwhile, they jumping like hell. Like, bro, it's so much stuff that you got to deal with in this game as a big. You open in the corner. You, like I said, you smoke one jump shot as a big. You're not getting the ball back. And then, like my man said, God forbid you hit two of them bitches. You definitely ain't getting the ball back then because every guard got to be, got to be the whole fucking show. Like, it's so hard to play big in this game. And then they took the speed. They took our ability to shoot. You can't you can't really shoot no more. If it ain't green, the motherfucker ain't going in. Doggone, you can't score in the paint. Imagine that. Bigs can't score in the paint on, on another big, even when you make a good move sometimes. You still can't score. Meanwhile, the damn 5-2 guard just come through there and press square, and he just, <laughs> he just, hey, just throw that bitch up and it just go in. I mean, BP had a whole video yesterday where they was, I mean, uh, Young Precise had a whole video yesterday where they just punching on people. Ah, just ah. Like, if you don't play your position perfectly as a big in this game, you get blamed for everything, and your, your damn team gonna lose. If you don't play good defense as a big, your team has lost. And then, like you said, look, they get beat on the perimeter. You step over, and then you try to get a block, and then you can't get the board, and then they be like, yo, we gotta get some boards. Well, maybe if you stop getting beat on the fucking perimeter by a pure slasher that you know can't shoot, maybe I wouldn't have to step over for you, and maybe I could get some boards. Like it's just like I said, they done killed big so bad in this game that we ain't trying to hit that shit from guards. We ain't trying to hit that shit. Give me a win trying to hear that shit from guards down there. Off guards, I know you feel the same way. Off guards, you got to guard the dude. You got to do this and that. You ain't got no dribble moves. They done took all your dribble moves away too. You can't do nothing pretty much at all. All you can do is sit in the corner and shoot. You don't get to do that half the time because they ain't passing the motherfucker to you. And like I said, you smoke one jumper. Hey, hey, they one for 19. And, they, and then you smoke one jumper. This is your first jumper in five games. You smoke one. What happened? Damn, man, we got to hit some shots. Bitch, you gotta hit some shots. You done shot 19. You done shot 35, I mean, 65 shots over the last three games. This is my first shot in three games. The hell you mean we gotta hit some shots? Hey, it is what it is though, man. Or did I just go off on a tangent right there? Hey, hey, off guards and centers, some of the hardest positions to play, man. Scoring is easy on this game. You can talk that shit to somebody else. Scoring is easy on this game, all right? Playing the primary point and all that, 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 that shit easy. Especially against bombs, which, which is what you're playing against 99% of the time. All you got to do is just drive and kick. It's really easy. I mean, hell, we beat Top Cup all the time. TDM, they, 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 they look. TDM show you how fucking easy it is all the time. Drive, dunk it. Drive, dunk it. Drive, dunk it. And then what? If they collapse, kick. Now, you do got to get open. But you know it is what it is. I mean, you're a guard. You're supposed to get open just like we're supposed to hit shots, man. It is what it is. Hey, up next, man. I want to show y'all this before I get up out of here, man. Vernon Maxwell had me dying this morning, man. He's like, look, so here I see here's the reason I'm in Utah. I decided to offer a free clinic to the best young shooters in the state as a truce to try to mend my relationship with Utah fans. Here are the best shooters the state had to offer. Bro, the clanging. And the ball's almost, not a single ball went in. If these guys are even decent, God dang, they missing everything. I got to hit them with one of them EJ. God dang, they missing. I, bro, nobody's hitting anything. Bro, hold on, hold on. Let me stop the music so y'all can hear, so y'all can hear this, man. I got to, let me, let me. Hear this. He almost missed the flow with that one. He definitely missed the flow with that one. He missed the, I don't know what he hit with that. Look at him, go through the legs. Clang. Boy, it's more clanging and banging than, a, than Gold's Gym in the 90s right now. Boy, the backboard, backboard. <laughs> ah, not a single, and on this day, not a single shot was made. Anyway, man, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. I'm always clowning, man. Hey, if you're a guard out there, man, hey, don't get too mad at me, man. You know I'm just telling the truth. Um, I'm just serious. Anyway, like I said, man, custom stuff, all that stuff, as long as it's a decent size, man, you can put it on the shirt and uh, make it. But like I said, if you don't zero the background out, man, this is what's gonna happen. 
When I'm talking about zero in the background, I'm talking about just clear the background or whatever, man. But this is what it's going to look like. Like, on something like this, I would know to clear the background. And I would do it for you and do it. But I just wanted to, you know, let y'all know what's going on with that, man. So you can upload your own artwork. Um, like I said, whatever it is, this is one of my guys, the, uh, the moron, uh, Monaco morons. He did the joint, man. Look at this. Great image, great size. You resize the image on here, boom. Put it where you want to. Add it to the cart. And, and then you order it, man. You good to go. Anyway, I'm going to y'all next time, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Hey, we know it's hard to be a guard. We know it's tough. We know we, they took those moves from y'all. But the reason that, that, that lead guards ain't getting no sympathy from everybody else is because they done killed all the other positions. Try being a small forward in this game. Nope. Try being a shooting guard other than certain positions. You can't even get picked up. Try being a center. That's not either a pick setting inside center or a shooting center. Try to be something where you're a scoring center that's a scoring inside center, bro. You can't even get picked up. So it's one of those things where it's like, we hear what y'all saying, but it's falling on deaf ears, man, just because of the fact that, hey, they don't hold us. Y'all ain't the only ones getting hold out here, man. But I'm going to holler at y'all next time, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town. God speak!